So as we start the fire here, what are we doing? What am I adding to this situation to help fuel, make fire? Fuel, fuel. Fuel. So we have fuel. And then what am I adding to that fuel to get it going? Oxygen. Some heat. So what are we seeing right now? We're starting to see a few products of combustion, right? What, do, what does fire make? Smoke. Smoke. And smoke, heat, and light. So we're making a little smoke, so we're pretty confident about that. And as we start to look at it, it's starting to burn just a little bit. As I'm making that heat, talk to me about the smoke. What, what's, what's, our, what's our density? Light, very light. 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 Yeah. And the light. color? Turbulent. White, white. Kind of white. white. What's its velocity? Very... Yeah, it's just kind of wandering, right? It's not real excited at this point. So what stage of fire development are we in? Incipient. Incipient, right? We're just getting going. So we've got plenty of oxygen. We've got good fuel in there. So the only thing we're really lacking for development or free burn is heat, right? Good. So we got that nice wandering smoke, right? So look at that smoke. There's not a lot there. There's not a lot of... And we're starting to get things heated up. Thank you. So as we start to go, we're starting to see any changes in the smoke yet. A little faster now. A little bit faster. Do I have an inflow and an outflow? Just a little bit. Yeah, Just a little bit. So as I start looking at it. A little bit more in there. So as I'm getting smoke out and I'm getting fresh air into the bottom, what do I have right in here? Thermal layering. Thermal layering. Thermal layering. And so what we call this area between the hot and the cold is our neutral plane. Okay? So that's our neutral plane. So we're gonna watch the, the neutral plane in the in the room change over time. It's gonna drop. And the, the color and the density of the smoke is going to change as the fire starts to build. So we're still really in that incipient stage and we're waiting for it to burn. We're also starting to heat up the room as a whole, right? So there's some radiant heat going on in there and we're starting to heat up the whole room. So the walls, the ceiling, the floor, that's all starting to become hot. And that's, that's going to affect us when we come to flashover, right? When everything's saturated and we achieve that 1100 degrees all at the same time. So we're still just waiting on this thing to build. So as you guys, can you look up in there? It's kind of hard to see. Get where you can see the flame. What's happening to the flame in the room right now? You can kind of go over there on the side. So that flame's starting to come up and hit the ceiling, right? Do you remember what we talked about that? You can come over here and get a little closer. So what we really want to see here is that the flame's going up and it's hitting the ceiling. And what do we call that when that flame's rolling off the ceiling? Roll That's rollover, roll right? So this room is starting to get a little warm. See the change in the color of the smoke? What's my smoke look like now? Gray, a little bit gray. darker. A little gray. And tell me about the vol, or I'm sorry, not the volume, but the velocity of that smoke. It's moving faster. It's moving, faster. faster. It's moving way faster. Why is it moving faster? More often. Awesome. Heat. I got heat, right? I got a lot of heat. Am I limited in anything right now? No, no, sir. No, so I'm kind of starting to get into that growth stage, right? We're past the incipient. I would say we're to the growth stage here. So watch that thermal layering, right? We can still see the flame rolling over up there. And I've still got this tunneling on the bottom. So what's what do we call this right here? The, the neutral, neutral plane. plane. The neutral plane, right? And what kind of opening is this? Is this an inflow, an outflow, or a dual flow opening? It's a dual flow opening. It's a dual flow opening right now, right? So I know, since I have a dual flow opening, what's my flow path? It's just in this room, right? I'm into the bottom and out through the top, right? Would you guys all agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So right now, we're getting color change. What's starting to change in, in that room right now? Or it's an incomplete burn. It's incomplete burn, right? So what are we starting to lack? Oxygen, Oxygen right? Yeah. 
So we've got fuel and we've got heat, but since I'm going to this, this black wispy smoke, there's a bunch of carbon in that smoke, right? There's unburned products of combustion. So this smoke is particularly dangerous and we don't want to hang out in it, right? So what's going to happen then if I take and I close down my opening? Cut off the oxygen supply. We'll go to first decay stage. So now what kind of fire do I have? Decay stage. Decay, decay. right? That primary decay and we are vent limited. Vent limited. Would you agree? Yes, what happened to our smoke? It's disappeared. How much smoke do we have? Very minimal. And what color is it? Like a lighter. lighter yeah, lighter. light smoke, burnt beans on the stove, right? What do we see now? Brownish. What's Brownish. happening? It's turbulent. You see that tunneling in there? That's our inflow, right? So the fire right now is heating up. It's ex we're getting that gas exchange. What happened to the color of the smoke? It's turning it darker again. Oh no, it's getting lighter. It's lighter. getting lighter. Why is it getting lighter? Completing the burn. Ah, because I'm getting a better burn because I got enough oxygen. So my fuel oxygen content is starting to get right. And what do I expect to see? White smoke. What do I expect to see here pretty quick? More visibility. Why? Because you're getting that free flow. Okay. And that room should, we should get, as our oxygen level rises, we have fuel and we have heat. So what should we see as our oxygen level rises? Fire. Flaming combustion, right? We had non-flaming combustion because we were below that 14% in air. And now if you look back in there, there's probably flaming conduction with rollover, right? Can you guys see that? See it. Is it in there? See, look, Sir. there's flaming combustion with rollover. Yeah. Can you guys see it? And then, what starts to happen if I give it a little more oxygen? Outward flow. So what's happening in the room right now? Is it too rich or too lean in the room to burn? I'm not it's getting flame lean. until it's it comes lean. outside. Lean. So it's too rich, too rich inside the room until it comes out, and then I get this fire blowing over the top, right? So if I have an oven fire, what are we gonna tell the public to do in an oven fire? Close, close, the, door. close the door. So if I come up and there's fire blowing out of a front door and I have the ability to close the door, why wouldn't I do that while I'm waiting on water or changing my line or a backup team? Why wouldn't I close the door? What it, what's happening with the smoke now when I close my door? Let's say I had a little better seal on that, right? What happened to my color? Change. What happened to my volume? Less. What's the density? Right? See how we start to change those things? And I'm back to what kind of a fire? Vent limited fire. Now, is that angry and nasty? So I know I've got lots of what in there? Heat. heat. Exactly. I got heat and I got fuel, but I have no oxygen. oxygen. So what should be happening in the room right now? Free burning. More from invisibility. Right. So we'll let this take off again. And how long did we say, do you guys remember how long in a 1200 foot, 1200 square foot single story home, how long did it take the vent limited fire to go to flash over? Three to four. 100 seconds. In the two story, 1800 square foot, 200 seconds, right? So are we burning again? Not quite. So again, we've got dual flow, right? Neutral plane. And you can see how the wind really starts to affect us. Right, so that's all it took to ignite it, right? Single ignite source. So if I close this down and I open this, what do we expect to see? Uh, it's gonna progress into the next room. What, what happened here? Change its flow. Change path. Path. Do I have fire coming out of here? No. 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 Do I have tunneling over here? I got a little bit. So is this enough? Is this a big enough entrance, or does the fire need more air? Needs more, more air. air. Right. What just happened here? We had fire. Why do we have fire coming out of this window? It needs oxygen. Right, because we got ventilation coming over here, and we're closest to the fire here. We have the most amount of heat here, right? So I expect fire to be coming out of here because I have the most amount of heat. 
So I know when I arrive, if I've got smoke coming out of both openings, both these are dual flow openings, but this one's got the most fire in it, where's the fire room? Is there any fuel in that room? No, no. We already said what? That that's the only room with fire in it, or with, with fuel in it. So what's on fire over there? Smoke. 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 Is it a content fire? No, no. No, it's a smoke fire. So now what's happening? It's spreading. Have I achieved a neutral plane? Yes. yes is there a neutral plane over there? Yes, sir. So is that a inflow, outflow, or dual flow opening? Dual flow. Dual flow. Dual flow opening. So what do I know about the fire if there's a dual flow opening? Is there another opening on the Charlie side of the structure I don't know about? No. Probably not. Not that's open. Or if there is, then this room is isolated, right? So if we look, what we should start seeing is the fire starting to roll over into this room now, okay? So now we're getting rollover into this room. And we're gonna start to see the same things happening in this room. We got this neutral plane, right? The fire's licking up in here. Can you guys see that? There's fire licking up in here and it's starting to roll out just a little bit here. Have I got a neutral plane? Yes, sir. And what's the velocity of my smoke? It's slowed down something. And what's the color? Light. Water. Light. Light. So what kind of burn am I getting? <clears throat> Free burn. Right. I got a good clean burn, right? So I got enough oxygen. So if I take off this opening, what do I expect to see? It's smoke. Why is there so much smoke up, up here? It's going up top. But smoke I have rises. a plug in there, remember? I told you I have a plug, the door's closed. Why is there so much smoke in there? Why? No. What's happening in this room? This is a radiant heat. <laughs> Not radiant, but conduction through a solid object, right? I heard it in the back, conductive heat. So conductive heat is causing what to happen in this room to the solids? Heat up. They're pyrolyzing, releasing gas. gas which is smoke. So what happens if I add just a little bit of flame? Maybe this will lick up. It should touch off, right? If it doesn't touch off, so what do we know about that room? Not enough. Uh, it's not hot enough. Um, heat. Not enough oxygen yeah, or oxygen. fuel, right? So we start to see it rolling out here. Everything good? So let's, walk, let's reach in there and take that floor now. Now what do we see? We introduced a free burn. What happened? Went to the path of least resistance. Ah. So if I close this up, what happened to the smoke? It dissipated. What's happening to it right now? Oh, it changed colors. Why did it change colors? Incomplete burn. So we're becoming what? Vent limited. Vent limited. See tunneling? Is that a dual flow, inflow, or outflow? Outflow, dual. Dual, dual flow opening, right? So we've got this incomplete burn because our change of color and we've got inflow. And so it's trying to tunnel back to the fire. We're trying to get oxygen back to the seat of the fire, right? So if I come over here, what do we think is gonna happen if I create an opening on the first floor? Flash. What happened? Flash. Is that a flash? No, no backdraft. Back it was backdraft, yeah. right? Everything achieved at the same time and blew out. Right? Sir. Makes sense? Do it again. <laughs> now my house is falling apart. So that's because everything's not pressurized. Uh huh. Oh. All right. So, what kind of opening is that up there? Inflow, outflow, dual flow. Dual flow. Is it? No, outflow. That's not dual flow. It's an outflow. What is that? It's puffing out the. That's an outflow. And this is an inflow. Why is it puffing? Turbulent. Look at that smoke. Is that what volume? That's heavy volume. Lots. What's its what's its velocity? Pretty fast. It's fast. Pretty fast. Right? What's its color? Dark. 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 What do we why is why is it puffing down here at the bottom? It's trying to pull in more oxygen. Right? So what do we have in the hallway? 
eat. <laughs> What's a stairwell look like right now? Very smoky. Yeah. Barely visible. That's a chimney in there, right? So what happens if we give this just the right amount of oxygen in that chimney? Touches off. What's happening in what's happening inside right now? Heating up. It's heating up. Why did that touch off up there? Because of the close gas. Right so it's too rich inside. It comes out. This flame reaches up and grabs it. Right? And our vent fails. Okay. So if I want to make this go out, what do I do? Close the doors. And watch what happens to the smoke when we snuff this thing out. If we can keep it out. There's a ton of pressure in there, isn't there? Yeah. So what's happening with the smoke? It's getting lighter. Getting lighter. What's happening to the color? Uh, getting brighter. Volume. Volume is decreasing. And our density. Decreasing. So we just had fire blown out of two openings, turbulent, nasty, dark smoke that was indicative of nasty fire, right? We arrive on that thing, we're like, holy cow, I need big lines, I need a second alarm. Let's do this thing. I arrive on this, I got some smoke pushing. <clears throat> Am I thinking big, nasty, dark fire? I need a second alarm. So what's happening in here? It's Vent limited, right? Primary decay, and then we're gonna yeah the wind change. <coughs> you guys, I come along as a as a stand up fire guy, and I come to the front door. What do I expect to see? What's happening inside right now? Hopefully we didn't put it out too far. You start to see the flame in there? Is the wind too much? The wind a little too much. Well, we're gonna start seeing a change. Take off number two there and see if we can get her going again. So we're looking for our inflow and our outflow. Now we have wind driven effects, right? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, so we're back to burning again. So we're all closed up, we get this, uh, we got crews inside fighting fire and we get the order to take the roof, right? So we're gonna take the roof, watch what happens. What do we got up there? Yeah, we got some off gassing, right? We got some pilotization, but there's no fire up here yet, right? So then I take the ceiling and what do we think is gonna happen when I take the ceiling? What's it gonna create? A low pressure opening, right? So now I've got a low pressure opening Where's the heat and smoke gonna go? Up, up, up. Out the low pressure opening from the high pressure inside, creating ourselves a flow path, right? What do we see here? Inflow. Inflow? Inflow. There's tunneling, right? Mm -hmm. And what do we see coming out the top? Thick smoke. smoke. Nasty smoke. I'm gonna see if I can keep this failing. See if we can do a little longer burn. So what do I expect to see out of the top? Smoke. And what is this? Is this fuel? Yes. So what do you think we're waiting on to make that fuel fire? An ignition source. An ignition oxygen. source? Oxygen. I think we got good oxygen. So either heat or an ignition source, right? Yeah. Waiting for that. <laughs> Anybody tell the FAA we're making smoke today? Okay. 
you're starting to hear stuff failing inside. I think we're starting to lose a little compartment in here. So we've got rooms to roll over. We've seen flash over, right? And we've seen a little bit of a backdraft. It wasn't very violent, but but we got there. What's gonna happen if we introduced flame up here to this? What do we think? Gonna take off. Catch fire. There we go. Get it on its own. We just need a little more, right? So it takes off and we get a good free burn. So now let's look at this, right? Is this inflow or outflow? Inflow. For the most part, it's inflow, right? We got, we got some flame coming out of there, but that's mostly just heat escaping. So if I'm gonna put this fire out, right? At this point, we've got a content fire or a structure fire. We've progressed from contents to structure, certainly, right? Everything's in there off gassing. So if I get the, if I get the order to transitionally attack this, how do I want to go about my transitional attack? You're going to bank it off the ceiling, cool the environment. Right. So, I have a pen. so I'm going to start down here. If I put water right up there, it kind of bounces around. If I put water down in this corner where it's got an inflow, see the difference in effect? So if I put water into the inflow rather than the outflow, I'm going to get more conversion of steam to where the fire is burning, right? So that room just flashed. You see it flash? Yes, sir. Everything reached the same temperature. So I've got, I should be getting close to dual, dual flow on that. So what we want to look at now is we're going to see if we can set up a dual flow before this thing fails. And then we're going to put a little water. When we're talking about a dual flow opening, if I put water up here into the top, I'm going to disturb that opening, right? We've all been inside a fire, put it out, taken the window, and gone to a fog nozzle. What do we call that? Hydraulic, hydraulic, hydraulic ventilation. ventilation. Maybe I put it too far gone. So we'll get hydraulic ventilation. Does hydraulic ventilation work both ways? Yes. Right. So if I have a dual flow opening, we'll see if we can get this lit again. If I have a dual flow opening and I have a fog nozzle and then I train that whole thing, what am I gonna do to my dual flow opening? What am I gonna turn it into? If I was inside and I opened the fog nozzle up and trained the whole window, what would I be doing? I would be ventilating, right? I'd be creating low pressure. It'd be a low pressure opening to the outside and everything would go out. If I'm outside and I do the same thing, what am I doing? Making a high pressure, right? So it'd be a low pressure opening. I'm filling the whole opening. So if I've got fire that's dual flow, I don't know if we're gonna get it. If I got fire now that's dual flow, see how it's training in? And I incorporate that whole thing, where does that smoke and flame go? when I entrain the whole thing. If this has only got one opening and I fill that whole opening with water and I'm pushing water and air inside, where does the smoke, heat, and flame, and light, all that stuff go? It tries to rise. It's gotta go somewhere else. It's gonna find a low pressure opening to go to. If there's a door open, if there's an attic space, right? So if on a transitional attack, I put water in here, or I fill this whole thing, am I helping myself? Not a whole lot. But if I come down here, now what have I done? I've created steam, and what's the low pressure opening do with all that steam? Where does it take it? Takes it out. Back, it back, back, out. back to, to the, the seat of the fire, right? So if I'm fighting fire on the inflow, it's gonna take that water and that steam ultimately back to the seat of the fire, cooling that room and cooling the seat of the fire. Would you guys agree with that? So if I have an inflow that's where I'd like to put water on a dual flow is in the inflow side, the bottom of it. And I'm not gonna be doing these big circles because that all creates airflow, right? So I don't want to positive pressure the house. That's not where we're at. There might be a time for that, but when I'm doing a transitional attack with a dual flow opening, I want to apply a single stream of water through the very bottom as tight as I can get it. Does that make sense? Sure. A lot of people just sit back here in the yard and fill that whole opening with water. Now, if it's an, if it's an outflow, can we do that? No. Absolutely. It's full of fire, put the whole fire up. Doesn't matter. If it's an inflow and it's not on fire, you know, maybe I should find the fire room and put water into the fire or follow that fire flow in, right? That inflow. Good. We talked a little bit about this room. 
it's all full of turbulent, nasty smoke, right? It's all sealed up. Why is that room on fire right now? Convection. So there's conduction from the fire room up into there. It hasn't breached. That off gases, pyrolyzes, right? And as soon as it comes out and mixes with the ambient air, what begins to happen? We get to the right fuel mixture. We have the right heat. Does that make sense? So we talked a little bit about whether or not whether or not we can push fire with a hose screen. And I said we would talk about it. So if I've got a high flow, or sorry, a high pressure and a low pressure opening, right? Right now we're moving from high pressure to low pressure. Would you guys all agree with that? If I change the pressure in the room, does that change where the fire goes? Yes. It does, right? So if I'm sitting on the outside and I train this whole thing, What's happening up here? Is that fire going out? No. So am I pushing fire? Yes, yes, yes. I, I don't know that I define it as that. What I would tell you is that I'm changing the flow path. I'm creating a high pressure opening and we're getting a low, and we're getting fire going to a low pressure. And the back's reaching out, so it's not a compartment anymore. But you gotta think about that. People argue back and forth. We can push fire, we can't push fire. I'm not here to tell you we can or can't. What I'm here to tell you is that, that there are low pressure and high pressure compartments and we're gonna move. Yeah, it might be getting a little warm for that. Does it make a difference versus if you use a fox stream versus a straight stream with that? What do you think? Yeah. For sure. Absolutely makes a difference between a fog and a straight stream. You can move a lot more air with a straight stream, right? See how much air we're moving? Because yeah. it gets entrained by the Venturi effect versus a straight stream. This has probably got more water. So you see the difference? So can we move air and smoke and heat and flame? Yes, yeah. 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 are. are we gonna push fire in a compartment if it's compartmentalized? If I go in and I've been in her search and I fight fire in the room, am I gonna am I gonna push that fire anywhere? Not if it's compartmentalized, it has nowhere to go. Right? But if my compartment's breached and it's gonna find a low pressure opening, then I'm gonna get fire where I didn't have fire before. Okay? And I think again, that's a maybe and it's semantics about what you're calling what. Okay? So, we saw smoke, we saw a change, we saw a, a, a free burn go to a vent limited with decay, and then we saw it take off again. You guys got to see a couple of rooms roll over. We got to see a room flash. We got to see the whole building pop, right? We had a little bit of a backdraft. We didn't get a smoke explosion. Sometimes when I light the top, it'll smoke, smoke explode back down into the building, but we didn't get that, okay? And we talked a lot about smoke and color and velocity and density and what smoke means, okay? So I want you guys to really think about that as we move from being, I can't run a freaking nozzle. It's broken. Time to go back to the ladder truck again. Did that come through and get you guys? So anyway, we talked about all those things Things are going to fall over here pretty quick. What questions do you have about the box and about this burn? Way to see neutral plane, inflow, outflow, you should know what it looks like. We got to see rollover. We got to see the flame looking down. I don't know if you guys could see it from back there when we got the flame looking down before the room flashed. One of the cool things about using this model, we would never let a house fire do this, would we? No, 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 no. We'd never let a room go to flash. So we don't get to see what it looks like. We hear about it. But this is what it looks like. We don't ever let a house go to backdraft, not even in a learn to burn, right? That's a bad situation, right? So we try and create those things out here on the drill ground with this little thing. So then when it comes time, you guys know what you're looking at and you see that bad situation. And you make it better.